Yep. Well, what's going through your mind? How's that feel? Man, just grateful. It was a long freaking day. Six matches now. And, uh, you know, first couple ended pretty quick, but after that, they were all wars. And uh, I'm just grateful for the strength and courage that God gives me. My freaking eyes cut open from this side to this side right now. And uh, I'm hurting. It was a long tournament. A lot of good guys, but uh, just uh, the strength and courage that God has blessed me with is. Uh, it's surreal. I don't deserve it, but I got it, and I'm so grateful for it. Did you see your first match against Sinclair? You know, last second takedown, yeah. Yeah. the second, and then you know you held the series lead and then dropped it, and then came back and got that win. Well, I'll take it back to Vegas when he kicked my butt 10-0, and uh, man, I left Vegas and I was, you know, I had a pretty good redshirt season. Um, I went undefeated in college events, wrestled in a duel, and feeling really good going into Vegas. I was hungry, hadn't competed in a little while, and. I got a kick, my butt kicked by high school, and I was like, okay, I had to go back and reevaluate. Re but I got the best coaches, best training partners, and uh, just the best support system in the world at Penn State. And uh, they uh, they made sure I was ready in every facet of the word being ready for anything, literally anything, uh, for this weekend. And that last match was all heart. That was, um, and I'm not trying to rag on him, but when uh, when waters get deep, you know, uh, someone's gonna sink, someone's gonna swim. And I swam, and I'm always gonna swim. You know, I'll never sink, I'll never quit. But uh, it's just been, it's been a long, long time coming. You chopped woods in that first match, and if you don't get that last second takedown, he probably it's sweeps over. you. Yeah. He sweeps you. Yep. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. Now we're in a totally different yeah. situation. You're going to the World Championships. Yeah. You were know, your second last year, right? Yeah. Yep. So you second know, you sweeps you by high school guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that, how how different would that have been for you? Obviously, it would have been different, but. Uh, I don't look at things like that. I just look at them for what happened and what is. And um, there's nothing that what isn't because it didn't happen. So um, yeah, it happened and I won and it worked out and I'm grateful for it. And uh, I'm ready to go win a world title. This is this is in the past now. I'm a, I'm a freaking, I got rocks on my head. So I'm always on to the next things. That's what all were I you care thinking about. when you went into that third match? Uh, man, I'm in pain. But uh, I got a, I got a great God. I got a glorious God. I got a, a forgiving God, a loving God, a caring God, and uh, I got a God that uh, He's gonna walk through the fire with me. And uh, something, uh, there's a guy that prays for me and a couple of my buddies every single day over text message. He texts us at freaking 5 a.m. every day, and uh, a whole long prayer. And uh, something he said to me this past week was, um, uh, "Us as Christians, we can either be." Uh, sharpened by fire or swallowed alive by it basically and uh today i was put through fire but i let it sharpen me and i made the choice that that was going to be the be the result today was that i was going to get sharpened by the fire whether i won or lost um this isn't about winning or losing to me it's about honoring glor glorifying, glorifying god and uh i'm uh i'm proud to say that i think i did that today josh when he stole your lunch in vegas and just beat you yeah you probably didn't know because if you look at Sinclair, he does not look like much. Yeah, yeah. And Did I you been, know who he was? Yes, yeah, I knew who he was. He's a tough kid, and uh, I got nothing but respect for him. And uh, I had a couple people tell me, hey, like, he looks kind of, you know, not like the best wrestler, but he's a stud. And he I, can roll. And I believed it. I believed it. And uh, I took him seriously, but I didn't take myself seriously in Vegas. I did a lot of stupid things, and uh, I, he made me pay for it. And uh, I'm grateful for him because if it wasn't for him kicking my butt in Vegas, uh, I wouldn't have got much better in this past month. And this past month, past month has been, uh, been full of a lot of trial, a lot of error, a lot of good days, a lot of hard days, a lot of terrible days. But uh, grateful for them all. That's why I'm standing here right now. D. Lockett talks about the new philosophy at Oklahoma State. Yeah. You know, it's a yeah. philosophy. You guys have to score points. Yeah. Yeah. Score, score points. points. More yeah. score points than you're going to get your hand raised. Yep. Is that what? Did you just take that mentality into those three matches? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I wasn't really thinking. You know, I I knew obviously what the goal was and what I had to do to make this world team, and that was win two out of three. And. Uh, it wasn't, there was nothing going through my head besides uh, winning the next position, I think. It wasn't really just go find my points. It was, um, you know, I had to be patient today. Uh, he's very good at, okay, he was in Vegas. If you go back and watch, he capitalized on pretty much all my attacks. So it wasn't really go find my points today. It was uh, It was a little bit different today. It was kind of wear on him and uh, wait for my attacks to open up. So I was really just thinking about the next position each match. I could can freaking wrestle. It's not over until it's over with that kid. So. I'm um, just grateful that uh, I've been trained the way I've been trained and uh, grateful that I'm a little bit goofy up in the head because uh, a lot of guys quit. A lot of guys would have quit today after that second match in the best two out of three, but I'm never going to quit. I'm never going to quit. I'm going to do this till put a sword through my chest. It's a flan in you. Yeah. It's a flan in you. baby.
Spain? Oh, uh, just go back. I'm gonna take some time off. First of all, I'm gonna take about a week off. Go, go back to Michigan, see my family, see my friends back there. And uh, I haven't taken time off since Christmas break. Um, it's been long. My body's hurt. But uh, I'm, I, this is the only thing that's really an injury, though. I'm blessed. I've been extremely healthy this whole. Ever since I got to Penn State, I've been really healthy. But I need to take some time off, kind of reset my mind, reset my goals, because this is the first time I've ever made a world team. Spain will be the first time I ever go out of the country to wrestle. So I've got to really reevaluate. And obviously, I know I want a world gold medal, but uh, you know I got to. There's a kind of a list that it's got to be laid out to uh, things I got to check off to get there. So kind of make up that list in my own head, talk to my coaches, and uh, get the training. All they work. What kind of changes do you think you're going to need to make in order to take that top spot over the Um, off the top of my head, I, I honestly couldn't tell you. Um, you know, it's uh, a lot of my wrestling right now. I can you know, do one thing for a match and do a whole different style of wrestling the next match and make it work for me. But I got to start meshing everything together. So probably a lot of that, just working to meshing all the things I know how to do together into one style called the Josh Barr style and make it work for myself. So. Just really honing that stuff, and uh, yeah, uh, about that. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you.